If you're in the market for a pair of new gaming headphones, you may be tempted to pick up a dedicated gaming headset. Who wouldn't be? Flashy designs paired with the convenience of built-in microphones make many gaming headsets seem like the right choice. But before you go out and buy your next headset, I want to tell you why a gaming headset may not be the best choice for gaming. Hello and welcome to Detective. Let's check this out. When it comes to products marketed for gamers, companies don't hold back. The gaming peripheral market is expected to generate an upwards of $5 billion in 2022 alone. With that much money on the line, it's reasonable to expect companies to drum up a lot of hype for their shiny new products, and that includes gaming headsets. Despite these headsets being primarily designed for gaming, there are some important distinctions between them. Some headsets feature integrated microphones that can't be removed, while others utilize a 3.5mm input that will let you swap out the microphone as needed. This is also true for the primary cable, some allowing them to be removed while others are permanently attached. Many gaming headsets are also closed back, which means they're completely sealed off around the back of the drivers. This results in your ears being better isolated, allowing you to focus on the sounds that are coming out of the headphones while blocking out external noises. The nature of closed back headphones also means that they won't leak noise as much either. Now that we know what closed back headphones are, you could probably infer what open back headphones are. Open back headphones feature drivers that are exposed at the rear, lacking any sort of isolation from the outside world. This translates to external noises making their way to the listener much more easily when compared to closed back headphones. Likewise, they also tend to leak sound much more than closed back headphones. Now, you're probably still thinking, well, clearly closed back headphones are the better choice, right? Not exactly. One important distinction between closed back and open back headphones that audiophiles have appreciated for years is referred to as soundstage. Soundstage is the spatial sound made available to the listener. It mimics center, right, left, distant right, and distant left sound sources. It essentially allows for a much more directional sound that could easily be interpreted as, oh, that sounds clearly coming from my left, or those footsteps sound like someone's behind me. Due to their design, open back headphones have a much wider soundstage than closed back headphones. Even a cheap pair of open back headphones will allow you to pinpoint exactly where a sound is coming from with much greater accuracy than closed back headphones. It's the reason why some streamers such as Ninja use a pair of Bear Dynamic DT990 Pros, which is a solid pair of open back headphones. In addition to a much wider soundstage, open back headphones also offer more space for your ears to breathe. Since they're not designed to seal around your ears, most open back headphones won't cause them to heat up as much as closed back headphones. Depending on the exact pair and your head shape, open back headphones also tend to be quite a bit more comfortable, especially during those longer gaming sessions. Now, it isn't all bad news for closed back headphones either. Due to the seal they create, closed back headphones often have a much more fun sound due to their punchy low end bass. Most open back headphones lack that low end bass and that's definitely something people will immediately notice. Since many open back headphones are designed to be studio monitors, they reproduce a very flat and neutral sound that will most likely need to be tuned to the listener's preferences. Closed back headphones on the other hand, especially gaming ones, will usually offer an off the shelf level of fun and bassy game ready sound. I personally use a pair of semi-open AKG K240s for gaming and general computer use. Being semi-open, they provide a bit more bass than completely open back headphones, so they're a nice in-between. I've paired the K240s with a Sound Blaster G6 DAC amp, which is great for gaming. Although not completely necessary for my 55 ohm AKG K240s, the G6 gives me some extra volume and specific game related features like virtual 7.1 surround sound. An important thing to note is that impedance, which is measured in ohms, is a commonly disclosed measure for open back headphones. Impedance basically tells us how much the flow of electricity slows when passing through the headphones. The higher the impedance slash ohms, the more power is needed to get a decent volume out of a pair of headphones. Most headphones under 60 ohms should get a decent volume when plugged directly into a laptop or desktop computer, but anything higher than that will usually require an amp. So open back versus closed back, gaming or non-gaming, which one should you buy? Well, it really comes down to your needs and preferences. If you plan to game in a noisy environment or an environment where you want to reduce the amount of sound you make, closed back headphones are probably the best bet. Their out of box sound will usually feature a fun, punchy bass that will definitely excite. They usually won't require an amp and are ready to go right out of the box. 
If you decide to go with a pair of dedicated gaming headphones, something to keep in mind is the microphone. Headsets with removable microphones are much more convenient and you could easily swap them out in case they break. The same is true for the primary cable. Having a removable one will allow you to salvage your headphones in case the cable stops working. On the other hand, if you're not worried about hearing external noises or having your headphones leak noise, then open back headphones offer a much more directional sound experience. Sure, they do lack bass and that does take some getting used to, but once you realize how a wide soundstage can improve your gaming experience, the lack of bass won't be as big of an issue. If your budget allows, a nice DAC paired with open back headphones could be tuned to bring some of that bass back while still offering a much wider and more immersive soundstage. If you want to adapt your open back headphones to perform like a traditional headset, you can use something called a mod mic, which is a very convenient option for adding a mic to your headphones. There are also 3.5mm splitter cables that will let you plug in something like a lavalier mic or anything with a 3.5mm input. If you play on PC, you could also go with a USB mic like the Samson Q2U, a great option that I personally use for gaming as well as these voiceovers. At the end of the day, sound is a very subjective topic. You may need to go out and try some different headphones to see what you like. There's no wrong answer, there's simply pros and cons to both types of headphones. I personally used a pair of HyperX Cloud 2s as well as Astro A40s for a really long time before switching to open back headphones. I still use a pair of closed back Sony XM3s for music as well as movies, but when it comes to gaming, my preferences have changed. I really enjoy using my AKG K240s as they offer a nice balance between bass and soundstage. Another great open back option are the Philips SHP 9000s that are by far the best bang for buck open back headphones on the market right now. I'll have a list of different closed back as well as open back headphones that I either currently use or have used in the past. I'll also have some DAC slash amps in case you're looking at a pair of headphones with high impedance. And of course, some of the other things I mentioned throughout the video like the mod mic and the 3.5mm splitter cables. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like. I'd also be interested to know what headphones you're considering buying. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.